What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the living room. We're the Octobers, and today we're checking out Screen 4. If you haven't seen 1, 2, 3, man, you should go check it out before we get into this video. So, guys, we are getting a lot bigger and we're getting a lot of requests, but we already made a promise that we are going to finish this franchise, and we 100% will do that. But if you want to see these things come out quicker, man, just support the videos because they're not really getting the support that I think that they deserve. But with that being said, baby, you want to tell us something about this movie? Mm -hmm. It came out in 2011 and was directed by Wes Craven. Okay, guys, Scream 3 was a little goofy, but apparently in the comments, you guys said Scream 4 goes back to being really scary. So, I'm so excited to get into this, but I don't know if I'm that excited. I'm personally really excited about it. I can't wait to get into it. Thank you guys so much for the support. As always, if you guys want to support the content, you can always go hit us up on Patreon. But with that said, Scream 4, baby, you ready? Um, you want to try that one more time? No, because don't <laughs> say, are you ready? Like, I was ready. <laughs> All right, guys, while we're getting into it, man, I do this full time. This is October does not, but she's going to be helping me edit a little bit. Hopefully, eventually she can do it full time. And this is going to be her first edit. Let's go. Wish me luck. Show us some support, guys. Hello. Uh, yes. Who am I speaking to? Wrong number. Did you pick a movie? Yeah, we're gonna go scary. Saw four. Ugh, I saw that in theaters. It sucks. I hate all that torture porn shit. <laughs> well, I like Jigsaw. I think he kills people very creatively. But you don't give a shit who dies because there's no character development. There's just body parts ripping and blood spewing. <laughs> I have a Facebook stalker. He keeps leaving me messages. Yeah, like what? Just stuff like, hey, what's up? You're hot. I want to kill you. <laughs> I want to delete him. I did, but he hacked his way back in. He is really hot, though. You want to see? That's Channing Tatum. <laughs> Catfished. Yeah. Hello? Who is this? The more impatient version of the person you just spoke to. I'm sorry. You don't have to be a bitch about it. Oh, my gosh. You hang up on me and I'll cut through your neck until I feel bone. Who is it? She wasn't shook at all, was she? No. <laughs> Hello? Who is this? It's Trudy. Who's this? <laughs> Trudy. <laughs> It's a prank, hang up. Are the doors locked? Don't freak out. Do you answer it, baby, or not? Nah? I haven't had a home photo in so long to know. <laughs> For God's sake, it's a joke, Trudy. It's probably Lexi or Karen. Where are you going? To make sure the front door is locked. <laughs> Don't open it. You're overreacting. No, you're wild. <laughs> Let's call the cops. Oh my gosh. I dare you to open the door. No, Sherry, don't. Boy, she's about brain dead, though. Boy, she better get sliced. I can't. He's behind that tree, probably. They always have a similar house with a porch. Yeah, nice as hell. <laughs> <laughs> like it's like 2001 or something. It says I'm not outside. I'm right beside you. <gasps> oh, my God. You better run, little girl. Oh, my um, God. There's... Two of them? They just killed off two, like, A-list celebrities in the first five minutes those are c-list to me because i ain't never seen either one of them anyway she should not have opened the door no sab six. Oh, that was a movie is that kristen bell a fucking facebook killer you're kidding me right i guess now it would be twitter <laughs> that make more sense it's been done to death the whole self-aware postmodern meta shit i like the stab movies they're scarier. It's not aliens or zombies or little Asian ghost girls. There's something real about a guy with a knife who just... <laughs> I can't do it. Even the opening scene, there's always some random girl who gets a call that undoubtedly ends up getting her killed. It's also predictable. There's no element of surprise. You can see everything coming. <laughs> what in the world? Did that surprise you? Why? Because you talk too much. What in the world? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, no, no, I'm no, done. No, no. I'm done. It's like the Twilight Zone, but it's illogical. It begs the question that if the beginning of Stab 7 is Stab 6, then is the beginning of Stab 6 Stab 5? And if so, what is Stab 4 about? There's a reason I don't watch these movies. I can't <laughs> believe you haven't seen them. We live in Woodsboro. It has nothing to do with Woodsboro. I thought you said Stab was based on true stories. The original trilogy is based off of Sidney Prescott, but then she threatened to sue them if they used her stories, so then they just started making stuff up. Stab 5 has time travel, which... What? <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? No, I didn't hear anything. Don't try to scare me. I'm not trying to scare you. You do it all the time. I told you I heard something. I know you're trying to scare me. I must have left a window in my room open. No, you didn't. Someone's in there. I don't know which one's gonna die, the girl that's seen the movies or haven't. Mm -hmm. Hello? Oh who is my. This? Marnie, who is this? This is the last person you're ever gonna see alive. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what in the Bitch. heck? 
not funny. I don't see why you get off on this. <laughs> Marnie? Oh my god. Okay, they might be playing too much. <laughs> Good one, Marnie. Lights out, phone on the floor. Let me guess. You want me to walk by an open door frame so you can pop out, huh? Oh my god. Timing is perfect. You don't have the app on your phone, so you can't talk like Ghostface. Can you? Yes, I can. Who is this? Not an app. You're in my movie. You got a fun part, so don't blow it. What movie? Same one Marnie's in. Only her part got cut way back. You're the dumb blonde with the big tits. We'll have some fun with you before you die. <laughs> I have a 4.0 GPA and 135 IQ, asshole. That's you. What did you do with Marty? <laughs> She's on the cutting room floor. People live, people die. And you better start running. <laughs> Marty? Oh, nice. I'm still convinced when they miss, they're not really trying. <laughs> Uh, Man, she went to the worst place to get stabbed, too. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, an unfinished... An unfinished basement? She's about to get splinters, uh. too. Oh, snap, is a garage down there? We've seen this all before with the garage door. Oh. Oh. It's gonna crush your... Boy, that garage. Hey, why? <laughs> He's gonna do it multiple times? Oh. The Woodsboro murders are back, man. Let's go. What in the world? Look at that. I know. That's oh so my creepy. God. It's probably like a tourist town now. <laughs> I know. This looks like so many towns in America. It could be yours. You know, them girls didn't have enough fight in them, though. No, nah, they're not no Sydney Prescott. That's for mm -hmm. sure. Speaking of Sydney Prescott. Okay, Sydney, I like the bang cut. She's a business lady now. Absolutely. What do you think? Well, I guess today is the anniversary. No, I meant the display. <laughs> <laughs> Told the owner I'd kill his cat if he didn't get it right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Dude, he's about to go to the skating ring. I hope that's Gail. Please be Gail. There are no poor people in Scream, boy. Is that not the old someone's old house? It looks like familiar. That was the house from the last movie at the end, right? I don't know. Hey, before you get in the car, you have to promise not to kill me. It's Trevor called me last night. Why is he calling you? Because you won't take his calls. He knows I have your ear and he wants to know. Know what? How upset you are. So Trevor called me last night. <laughs> By the way, have you seen the Grim Reaper? Until death. Your cousin. Oh, Sydney's her cousin. She's the reason why I love horror movies. I'm sure she'd love to hear that if I knew her, which I don't really. Wherever she went, people died. Other people. It was never her. Why is Jenny Randall calling? Hello? Hello, Jill. Who is this? What's your favorite scary movie? I'm hanging up. That was original. <laughs> oh. Oh, <watch> <laughs> Sorry. Are they taking them down? Like they're not supposed to be up there? Yeah. Oh, I thought the city done decorated. <laughs> no. I thought it was like making a whole thing about it. Like they Roswell said teenagers. Looks like the celebrations be gone. High school kids, probably. <laughs> one generation's tragedy is the next one's joke. How is Gail, by the way? Hey, I made some lemon squares in my car. You're not cheating on your wife if you eat my lemon square. <laughs> oh. Sheriff Riley, come in. This is Sheriff Riley, go ahead. You gotta get over to the Randall house right away. It's bad, Sheriff. Yeah, you better not be eating no lemon squares. Mm -hmm. oh, boy, I'll jack you up. I don't know, baby. I'll be tearing out that lemon squares. You gonna be making them lemon squares? Need to reinvent myself. That's why I wrote this book. Sydney Prescott, everybody. I don't know, man. I don't like that Sydney's writing books and stuff. Yeah, I know. I have no fucking idea what to write. This is Hall Pass with Robbie Mercer here with the luscious Olivia. Don't look at my tits. I have a mind. Morris, what is your favorite scary movie? Is that how you got some stupid douche question? You're a genre nut, Kirby. What's your favorite scary movie? Bambi. <laughs> Completely unaware you exist. <laughs> nah, man, she wants me. Yo, he's kind of weird walking around just filming people like that, though. He kind of gives me Randy vibes. But yeah. Can we talk? Well, I hope Trevor ain't the killer. I know. I can't take you serious, Trevor. Someone who made you really happy once. Someone who never should have let you go. When you're done with a phone call, you let someone go. When you tell someone you love her, she gives you everything. And then you just go out with someone else that is not letting her go. That's dumping her. That's betrayal. Ooh. Trevor Sheldon, D9. <laughs> what is your favorite scary movie, man? I'll show you. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Wait, what? <laughs> what you doing, bro? I sat down could leave the walls of fear behind and step out into the sunlight. I'm glad you came. Aw, that's so sweet. Hey, Sid. Gail, you made it. What's going on, dude? Sid, I'm sorry, I gotta do something. <laughs> what in the world? Excuse me? It's 
will only take a minute. I need you all to stay where you are and remain silent. Do you just wait, Barney Fife? I'm running an event here. Ma'am, this is a police event now. <laughs> <laughs> Business, if you could just let us handle this. I'm talking to my husband, Deputy Judy. Listen, there's a phone we believe may have been taken from the scene of a crime. Deputy Hicks has traced its location back to these coordinates. The rest is need to know. <laughs> She's shushing Gail. <laughs> Rude. Let's bring it out here. There. Let's come from the truck. Get everyone to stay back. Not now, Sid. <laughs> it's my rental. <laughs> oh, wow. Everyone just... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Please tell me this is a prank. I'm afraid not, Sid. Oh, God. So somebody done broke into her trunk? Mm hmm Essays are due Tuesday. Why Woodsboro is the best... Dang. <laughs> Yo, this movie's kind of goofy, too. I mean, I like it, but it is goofy. Jenny Randall and Marnie Cooper were murdered last night. Stabbed to death. What's your favorite scare movie? Shut up! <laughs> what is up with him, dude? He'd get slapped. This week marks the anniversary of the infamous Woodsboro murders. Wow. Killed the exact day local celebrity victim, Sydney Prescott, chose to return to her hometown. <laughs> Eating lemon Mars. Why is Adam Brody a cop in this movie? Well, he's conducting an interview. Great. I love interviews. You'll have to wait, Gail. Sorry. Listen to me, Judy. I don't mind that you're working with my husband or that you even bake him those little treats. But if you're going to start acting like him, you ought to mustache on because you sound ridiculous. <laughs> Gail, would you please explain to Betty Crocker that I have every right to be here? <laughs> if there's been another murder in Woodsboro, obviously. What? That is not public information. It is all over the internet, Dewey. It is? Yes, <laughs> it is. She wants to be a part of the investigation, Sheriff. Are you familiar with the phrase, I wrote the book on this? <laughs> You're not a reporter anymore. Don't treat me like I'm the media. Investigative journalism. That's right. What, you're not going to let me help you with this? I can't. How dare you? All right, then I'm going rogue. This is what I know how to do. That's right. I hope she don't get herself stabbed up, though. I love her here in this one. And they got to transfer her <laughs> out. Spears taste like it. <laughs> yeah, but nasty ass lemons. We've got a couple of high school kids in here. Two of them, they say they got threatening phone calls this morning. That's Anthony Anderson. That's Sid's cousin. They got a lot of celebrities in this. I know, because he's always a judge on Iron Chef. Yeah. So two of you got phone calls. Yeah, us too. What's your favorite scary movie? It was The Killer's Voice. From Stab? Or, I mean, you know, from your life. <laughs> the killer didn't call you? No. Is that a bad thing? Does that mean that I'm not going to live as long as these two? <laughs> no. Maybe. <laughs> 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 Be careful. Sure that I'm gonna be next. Dude, I shouldn't be here. I should leave town. Yeah. I'm afraid that's not really possible, Sydney. Look, nobody thinks you're involved, but everyone's a suspect. I'm sorry. Sydney's a suspect? I mean, obviously, right? Because the body was in the trunk, but that's and ridiculous. They, it happened when she shows. There's no way on earth Sydney's about to kill someone, right? Maybe it's her. Two girls butchered. <laughs> Payday. That's how they are, for real. Best idea ever. Oh my god. She's so pretty. When you think about what she survived, she must have scars everywhere. Her mom was my sister. I have scars too. No one ever asked me about my scars. She means knife scars, mom. Oh. <laughs> How are you? How's Gail? It's been hard on her. Small town, small town husband. Not much to write about. Well, I read somewhere once, just when you think things can't get any worse, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they get better. Mm. Out of Darkness by <sighs> Sydney Prescott, page 220. Aww. So his and Gail's marriage genuinely just revolves around murder it seems like, like it. without murder in the picture it's just not spicy is it i guess not he's so goofy i haven't heard his music yet though i guess there hasn't been any like funk by them they're in a funk mm -mm. Mm -mm. what the hell are they doing here there are cops right out front no match for the ninja baby what a creep what are you doing in the house with sydney prescott I mean, that's like being on top chef jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> can you please get away from the window what i heard you got a phone call from the killer don't you think you'd be a lot safer with me around i don't trust you trevor hey, but i'm just gonna have to make sure that you do oh sorry i didn't no he's just leaving it's he knows all about that he knows all about that window climbing it's cool to meet you officially i keep meaning to pick up a copy of your book yeah don't worry about it bro wouldn't you immediately notify the police i would i mean i'd get him locked up for sure remind me of uh me <laughs> lock your window okay yeah <gasps> sorry about that making my rounds before taking off. You don't remember me, do you? We went to high school together. We were in Peter Pan together. I played a lost boy. I'm sorry, it was a long time ago. It's okay, a lot of stuff going on back then. Oh, well, it's nice to see you again, Judy. You too. I don't know about her. Yeah, she's way too strong. Her personality, she's she comes across way too creepy. But they're trying to trick us, so I don't know about that. I don't know, she's just very pushy. I know. <laughs> don't like it at all. It's Olivia Morris, she lives next door. She's on the list. What are you guys up to? Oh, we're watching Shot of the Dead. You want to come up? Angel of Death leave? Oh, she's in the guest room. Forget it. 
Next door's close enough. Your mom home? She's with her boyfriends. She's dead. She's gonna get sliced up. Parents are out of town. She's home alone. Hmm? They're calling her and they're about to scare her? I guess so. What's your favorite scary movie, Olivia? Trevor's calling. Again. What do you want? I want to talk to Jill. Kirby, sorry, Trevor. This isn't Trevor. Why do you have his phone? I want to talk to Jill. Okay, well, she doesn't want to talk to you. How's the movie? What movie? Shaun of the Dead. How did you know that? Because I'm standing in the closet. Do oh, you think no. he really is? There's no shot. I don't know what's about to happen. She might see them get murdered. I don't know. You do know there are cops all over this house. I think I'd have just enough time to slice someone open. What's going on over there, you guys? Why did you do it? Watch the friend back there. I never said I was in your closet. Oh, no. no! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ooh, went right through her hand. Ah. Uh. And they have to watch? She should have never stayed by herself. Mm -mm. Mm. Where's some stupid cops at? Well, if they're stabbed. Well, they might be. Why did she say that? Oh my gosh. Sydney went in the house. Bro, I can't stand in movies and when they put two cops just right outside the front door in a car. Like, what's that gonna do? There's backyards. Sydney's crazy oh as hell. Oh my, what? The bloodshed. Ooh, oh my boy. gosh. That was a bad one. Mm -mm. Sydney, why? Welcome home, Sydney. Preview of coming events. Why don't you come for me? You got the balls for that? Oh, poor Sydney. You think this is all about you? You think you're still the star? This isn't a fucking movie. These are innocent people. Spare me the lecture. You've done very well by all this bloodshed, haven't you? I've got plans for you. I'm gonna slit your eyelids in half so you don't blink when I stab you <sighs> in the face. You'll die when I want you to, Sydney. Until then, you're going to suffer. Sydney? He sounds like he's talking nonsense to me. <laughs> Do not look, okay? She said you were the angel of death. <laughs> oh, let's go. She She's fearless, dude. Are they about to catch one right now? Oh, rip his mask off. Nice. Oh, she's been in the gym. She put him to sleep. You better take the... Let's go. Let's go. Where is he? Oh, my God. There is no way. He was. Isn't that your boy from the OC? Who? Oh, yeah, Adam Brody. <laughs> yeah, he played on the... He played in a lot of stuff, though. He played on, like, Grind, that skateboard movie. I don't know that one, but I know you love the OC. Yeah, that was good back in the day. Mm. Channel 5, baby, that's all we had. <laughs> I thought this movie was about to really show us who one of the killers was. And, like, maybe he wouldn't talk about who the other one was. No, they always run. Are you okay? There's somebody back there. You know, these girls are just making really dumb decisions, dude. I'm strapping myself up. You know what I mean? You're not about to catch me slipping ever. Every closet's checked. Every single light's on in the house. Yeah. Ain't nobody got no parents in was borough. Yeah, she said her mom's out. I guess they're all rich, right? And they just fly around, go on vacation all the time, or travel for work. Boy, she needs to go over there and slap somebody. I know. Like some of these people in these YouTube it's comments, terrible. right? He's like a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> all right, get out of here. Dang, do we? <laughs> He's a very calm boss. I'm like. Two more people sliced up on your watch. Began as a day of remembrance has ended with serial murder. I'm recording with that thing? Live video blog upload. He's webcasting right now. Mind turning it off for a little old school off the record? Yeah. Owe it to my audience. Turn that fucking thing off. Okay. <laughs> You two are the boys that run the movie club at Woodsboro High, huh? You must have a very unique insight into the movie buffs at your school. Maybe. What if we could catch the killer by working together? They're in high school <laughs> and she's involving them in this. I know. Now you give me your expertise on the gore geek scene at Woodsboro High and maybe I give you something in return. What about Sydney? <laughs> <laughs> that little boy's a sociopath. I don't like him. <laughs> I think it'd be fine. I would just take a couple weeks off. Long story short, Random wants to lock you into three more books now. Can I ask you a question? Did you read my book? I thought I'd wait for the movie. <laughs> book tour's over. Sydney, accept your situation. You're a victim. Embrace it. 
Use it. Oh my gosh. I'm talking a hundred percent increase in sales, minimum. That's maybe a million more people get your message and you get a ton more checks. I won't be needing you anymore. Sydney, you're fired. Everyone in this universe is just so shitty. There's not right. very many good people at all. Dewey. And Dewey's just a little, you know. Yeah. <laughs> we know. Oh, is this her death scene? Let's go. Chop her up. Dang, that's all it took. Well, you're supposed to hate her. She's the media. Imagine Cindy almost just got murdered tonight, and the only thing on her mind is money. So screw her. Chop her up. <laughs> this is Rebecca. Sydney Prescott, please. I'm handling Miss Prescott's calls and appearances. May I take a message? You are the message. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then she stops. You better get it going. It's kind of hard to hear you. I'm in the hospital with Sydney. If you could just hang on one second. <laughs> I've got time. It's you that doesn't. You know, Rebecca, it doesn't sound to me like you're in the hospital. Sounds like you're in a parking garage. A dark and deserted parking garage. Oh my gosh. If you want to be in the hospital, I'd be happy to put you there in the morgue. Check the back seat. Check the back seat. She checked it. Smart girl. <laughs> close the door. Bro, did she not close the door? Oh my god. Don't answer your phone. You're. Uh oh. Of course. He messed with the yeah, transmission. Absolutely. Is he driving a car? <laughs> oh my gosh. This one's demented, dude. Yeah, he disconnected that battery. Why don't you like call 911 or something? Locked. Mm -hmm. Those things Dang. are always locked. Rip his mask off for the love of God. Don't you want to see who just murdered you? This is an ongoing investigation. The less I say about that, the better. <laughs> so, uh, in taking questions... Any comment on the fact that these killings seem to resemble the pattern of the original Woodsboro murder? Pardon? Later. <laughs> My officers are hard at work, and we just want the community to know that we are very close to bringing this whole situation under control. It sure seems like it, doesn't it? <laughs> this movie is really dramatic. Like, they're doing it big in this one. Listen, I want a man on each stairwell. I bet it's that Hicks, because where is she at right now? The reporter? No, the officer. What am I supposed to say? Oh, well, duh, sorry. I just saw the reporter get there. I happen to have a lead and you don't. So let me know when you're back on Team Gale. Yeah, I, don't, I didn't see her. Or the boyfriend, but why would he be there? You know, there's got to be something to the fact that it's Sydney's cousin, right? You think it's another family member? I don't know. Oh. Film your entire high school experience and what, post it on the net? The killer should be filming the murders, making your art as immortal as you. So who do you think is behind the murders? Well, it's a stab fanatic, clearly. Rules, but the rules have changed. And the kill's gotta be way more extreme. Modern audiences get savvy to the rules of the originals, so the reversals become the new standard. In fact, the only surefire way to survive a modern horror movie, you pretty much have to be gay. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so sure that the killer's working by the rules of a horror remake? Oh, well, the original stab structure is pretty apparent. Yeah, two kids killed in a house when their parents are away. And then the school's hot chick savaged beyond recognition. We all know where it goes from there. A party. Exactly. A party. Guaranteed third act main cast bloodbath. Okay, so do you know of a party that's happening tonight? Well, there's stabathon. All seven stabs back to back. We do it every year. There's a killer out there patterning his murders after the original movie. I know. It's pretty wild. Well, you have to call it off. <laughs> I'm sure we're not the only party that's going on in Woodsboro. Okay, where is this circle jerk going to take place? <laughs> <laughs> that's what it is, too. There's some dorks. <laughs> you know, it's kind of an underground thing. Email info, it's pretty secret. But you're not going to tell me? We're working together. <laughs> I feel like I'm under house arrest. She's got an attitude and she's being rebuilt about it <laughs> i know how you feel i'm sorry about your publicist how do you handle it people staring at you all the time people stare at me <laughs> i could never handle that kind of attention i saved my life last night i mean i know we're family but you hardly know me it makes me wonder you know if i'd have been brave enough to do the same thing mm -hmm. i really hope you never have to find that out yeah me too but dude if i'm sydney i'm promising you dude i'm walking around looking like a militia member at all times yeah me too <laughs> like, there's just no reason not to bulletproof everything <laughs> They are wild in this town. Aren't y'all aware of the history? Is that Gail? 
Yep, mm -hmm. definitely go. Bro, everyone's gonna see that. <laughs> I'm sorry to drink every time someone shuts the refrigerator door and oh my god, there's the harmless character right behind. <laughs> I'm ready to drink every time someone screams the word. Yeah. That's kind of hilarious. Yeah. That's kind of like a good idea. <laughs> if you live in the town. Yeah. Oh, that's Gail. <laughs> <laughs> She at least needs some command strips or something. I'm going to fall over. Back on my game. <laughs> New work in progress, chapter one. When I moved to Woodsboro, I never in a million years dreamed that I would again play the critical role in solving another series of these. Oh, wow. Yeah, they must have followed her. That is so <laughs> terrifying. That could easily just be a drunk kid. Like, she just has no idea. Yeah. Gail, where are you? I followed the kids to the Stabathon. I think the killer's about to make his move. What makes you so sure? You do a remake to outdo the original. That's what the kids said. This party is all about the Stab movies. Come on. How meta can you get? How what -a can you get? <laughs> Dewey, listen to me. You have to get out here. Come on, you catch the killer. I get the story. It's a win-win. Well, I thought you were going rogue, Gail. Forget it. Thanks for having faith in me. <laughs> <laughs> when he was like, what makes you so sure? I'd have told him about the cameras, but okay. Well, she probably didn't want to tell him all that. That sounds a little sus. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I know they can't even communicate. They're married. Very, I'm very impressed. I'll do. Yeah, she wants it. Yeah. Hello? Hello? Who is this? Were you expecting somebody? They quote it and everything. Yeah. <laughs> Dewey's about to see her get stabbed. Oh, he better not. Not Gail. It's about to record your death. No way. Gail! Gail behind you! <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, Gail ain't no punk. Nice. Caught him with a hay bale. Go, oh, Dewey. Nice, he's all caught up in the tarp. Oh my god, not at this party. Shoot. No, she can't come back from that one, right? Dude, you suck. Like his shot is <laughs> terrible. He went to police training for like three days. Put pressure on that. Did you catch him? There's a webcam that's sitting up there. He's watching me. He's recording the murders. He's making the movie. The cops guard in the house. They always get it. What are you talking about? <laughs> it sucks to be a cop in a movie, unless you're Bruce Willis. Not all cops die in movies. If it's your last day before retirement, you do. If you're a rookie, just find out your wife is pregnant, you do. <laughs> That's well, dark. better looking than you. By the way, I, I went that one. <laughs> you know what? I'll take the next perimeter. I'll be right back. I know this one. You're not supposed to say that, are you? You know, these days, you might come back and find me dead. Eyes gouged out. Could go either way. Oh, my God. I'll take this one. Be careful. I'm always careful. He's out. Yeah, all the cops are so dumb in this movie. Dead man walking. Oh, he even knows it. Yeah, he's the only one that has any sense about him. The wind chime's always a bad sign. But you know what I mean, though? This is such like a doof town. <laughs> if there was one like person in a position of leadership with any competence about him whatsoever, it'd be over. It's like, welcome to Woodsboro. It's easy to murder us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We are not built to withstand this. <laughs> is there a window open on your last perimeter check? And then, of course, Perkins is answering. That's just a task you should do in the morning, my girl. If I'm Sydney, dude, forget wind chimes. Yeah, like you gotta give those up in life. You gotta hear everything. You're right. If I'm Sydney, I would roll out of there with like with like a gas mask on. Yeah. You should have seen the look on your face, rookie. <gasps> oh. oh shit. That is horrible. Okay, so how tall is this dude? Five eleven, six foot. Aw, he's trying. Fuck Bruce Willis. Dang, that's your dying words. Somebody let me know what Bruce Willis did to He whoever. was apparently a cop that survives. <laughs> oh, okay, I get that's it. That's what the guy said. Okay, I see. He said, you don't survive if you're a cop in a scary movie unless you're Bruce Willis. What movie is that from? Let us know. Maybe we'll watch it. Who is that? The sister, I think. I'm just oh, okay. from the store. You're shopping? 
My stress buster. Got one more bag in the car. I'll be right back. Mm -mm, just leave that thing. It'll be good. She said, I'll be right back. Did you hear that? She didn't say it all creepy, but she said it. Right. What she got? Honey bunches of oats? Oh, Cheerios. No, it might be honey bunches of oats. No, that's Cheerios, I think. Oh, she's got some cheeses, too. Wait. <laughs> Boy. You need a snack? When we done. Yeah, you gonna get that? You're a survivor, aren't you, Sydney? Mm -hmm. well, I have one question for you. What good is it to be a survivor if everyone close to you is dead? Turn on the TV to Channel 6. Who the fuck are you? Turn it on. Watch the teaser. Nearly turned deadly tonight with the latest victims of these attacks being the wife of the Woodsboro Sheriff. Glad you came home, Sydney. Why are you doing this? Uh, friends count, but it's the family ties that cut Oh, the sister. What do you mean? The ones you care about most. I mean, I saw that coming from jump, right? Can't save them. All you can do is watch. Jill! Yeah, as soon as you said that's Sydney's cousin, I was like, okay, so she's dead. Oh yeah, cousin. I keep calling it the sister. My bad. Oh my god. She's not a Kirby. You gotta call her, get her back here. At least she's alive. Oh, let's get the cops. The cops aren't there. What? Oh my god. That's a good eye, Sid. Break the knife. Man, why don't stick your hand in there? Bite your thumb. One of y'all drop kick the door real quick. Let's get out of here. Oh. Man, that cheap fake wood. Oh. Mm. Stabbed her. Oh, he stabbed her through the. Oh, the mail thingy. I'm so sorry. Well, I thought he done stabbed her through the door. Okay, now grab a giant blunt force object. I just saw somebody coming around the side of the house. I don't know about her. Stay here. I got a gut feeling that she's nothing. Just a yeah. weirdo. I've got a homicide at the Roberts residence. Then he's like, got a blast. <laughs> Jimmy Neutron. Mm -hmm. No more on your own. It's you and me. Catch that motherfucker. Absolutely. That'd be so hard to leave you, baby. If you're <laughs> sitting there in critical condition, that'd be impossible. But if you're the only one who could catch him, I'd want you to do it. You told us to cancel it and we didn't. And now this, this is what the reboots do. They they, they one up the original ending. See, they're weirding me out because shouldn't they be like happy? <laughs> There's like two girls there. Like all they care about is that movie. <laughs> okay, no offense, guys, but I'm going to put in Stab 7. Yes. Nobody cancels my film festival. But I don't want to watch that. Not after what happened to Olivia. And it was her favorite. Baby, they're the killers. They got them alone in there. Oh, God. You guys are unbelievable. You're playing fucking trivia games. Jesus Christ, where'd you come from? By the way, Kirby, with everything that's going on right now, probably shouldn't leave that online. May I ask what the hell you're doing here? Didn't I find the after party? No, you found the anti party and it's invitation only. Yeah, well, I got an invitation from Jill. This is like sketch. It feels the same. After party at Kirby's house. I mean, it was from your phone. No, he got lured there. I didn't text you and I'll prove it. I still think they're the killers. So which one of you guys sent me a text message from Jill's phone, huh? Kate Roberts is dead and Sydney fled the scene. What happened to Kate? She was stabbed just like the others. Where the hell were Haas and Perkins? They were found dead in their car two blocks away. I'm on my way. His case is going crazy. <laughs> I know constant developments. <laughs> one of these nerds is in on it. I don't know which one. Get ready for a hall pass with Robbie Mercer extra. There is a good chance that Charlie Walker may get lucky with a girl. Woodsboro High may be in store for some geek history. <laughs> People might really watch him though. <laughs> yeah, if he's got the goss. Plus he's in that town and everything, for real. <laughs> Do you like his stab merch? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, super fan. <laughs> God. <laughs> I've never been scared by a plant before. Me ever. either. But it got me. Wow. I was backwards. Hey, Charlie. Yeah. I'm sorry. I know you're into the movie and all, but now would be a really good time to make a move. Couldn't you make a move? <laughs> Boy, lead a horse to water. Did you see Jill? I didn't see her outside. Thank God you are here to protect her when you can't even find her. <laughs> Oh, dude, I love this part of the movie. Weirdo. This is when you think they're all safe and comfortable. Ghostface comes in a bay! Oh, he's mad. He's emotional. <laughs> he just storms off. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Who invited you, Trevor? I'm gonna be upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm a little drunk, so don't blame the internet connection. Who needs to kill around? There's so much drama. Oh my gosh. Oh man. That's better. <gasps> oh my god, they just all saw that. Wait, no. You can't, you can't. There's rules. I, I'm gay. I'm gay. <laughs> it helps. No, he does not discriminate at <laughs> all. Oh, and he turned it. That guy was so weird. Something tells me he wanted that to happen. I don't know. I found my phone was up in your room. There was no text message sent to Trevor. He is such a liar. Where is he? What do you mean, where is he? He just went upstairs looking for you. He's not upstairs. Maybe they're outside. 
Jill. I was wondering where Sydney was. Yeah. With me right now, okay? Oh, oh my god. god. Oh my god. <gasps> nice. Dang, she kicked it. <laughs> <laughs> He's an athlete though. He's back. Get away from the doors. Get away from the doors. He can stab through them. You know, since Sydney's here, they do have a chance. Yeah. What? Just do what I say. Get out of the bed. Don't make a sound and don't come out until I come get you, okay? Just, just like, okay? Oh my god, I feel like it's too late for that. You got it? You okay? Jill's run. Just keep running. Get help. Sydney's a soldier for that one, y'all. Mm -hmm. Alright, they need to go. Oh, oh no, no. no. no, no, no. Sydney, where are you? I'm at Kirby's. The killer is here. I need your help. I'm on my way. Okay. Oh, he didn't wow. kill her. He could have stabbed her, but he didn't. Oh my god. I'm sorry, it's just me. Look, I tried to call 911 if the landline's dead and someone smashed the router. I think I got through on myself. Okay, where's Jill? I bet he's down there. Kirby, let me in. No, 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 I just found Robbie. Is it this is just like the first movie. Please, there is someone else out here. If you can't trust him, don't open the door. Oh my God, let me in. Get away from the door, Charlie. Kirby, it is me. Please let me in. Get away from the door, Charlie. It's me. She don't know him enough, right? Yeah. What the fuck? I'm sorry. Find him, oh. Look out. This could be fake, though. Do they see it? I oh mean, my God. you know what I'm saying? He could be in on it. It's scary. I, you just never know. I'm not dating anyone in Wordsboro. Bro, the this same. is just... What is going on? Leave him alone! Leave him alone! It's Charlie's phone. Tell Sydney heads are gonna roll tonight. Tell Sydney it's all because of her. Okay, I'm gonna get chill. We should be in the same place. Just, just keep him on the phone. I'll be right back, okay? He's like, what the <laughs> hell? I know. You can tell I ain't family. <laughs> Please. I hear you like horror movies, Kirby. But do you like him as much as him? Forget watching Stab. You get to live it. No, 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 no. He's the expert. It's not me. Warm up question. Jason's weapon. It's a machete. There, you see, you do know the genre. Michael Myers. Butcher knife. Leatherface. <laughs> a chainsaw. Thing, the movie that started the slasher craze. Halloween, oh, Texas no. Chainsaw Massacre, Last House oh, on the no. Left, or Psycho. Psycho. None of the above. Peeping Tom, 1960, directed by Michael Powell. First movie to ever put the audience in the killer's POV. That's not fair. Please just ask me one more question. All right, Kirby. Name the remake of the groundbreaking horror movie in which the villain... Halloween, uh, Texas his chains hot dawn of the dead the hills have eyes amityville horror friday the 13th and a nightmare on elm street my bloody valentine when a stranger calls prom night black christmas house of wax the fog uh piranha it's one of those right i was fucking right i wanted charlie man you better turn around i was there jump up in the house you still can't trust him this is making a move <gasps> You, that's what I'm saying. Oh my gosh. Four years of classes together. You notice me now? <laughs> Stupid bitch. Too late. We should have known when he walked off mad. It doesn't happen as fast as it does in the movies. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all teenagers some psychos. I know. Look, Cindy's got a knife. That's smart. Finally. That little rat ain't about to kill Sydney. You a lot when you watch movies over and over. All the plots are about trying to kill you. And of course, Jill. You think she's gonna get away? You think anyone gets away? Yes. No way. It's her cousin? Hello, Sydney. Surprise. What? This is the part, my dear cousin, when the cameras. What? Turn off. <sighs> I got great footage of my Robbie kill. What? Good, we'll cut and upload it later. Make it all traceable to Trevor. Speaking of which... Y'all can cut him anyways, though. It's all good. <laughs> He's a douchebag. Please. He's just not invited and pops up way too much. <laughs> you think you had a shitty boyfriend, Sydney? <laughs> what the fuck, Jill? I loved you! Shut the fuck up already! <laughs> She's like you, baby. What? Those cops want you to have this, Jill, for your protection. No. 
shouldn't have killed all those people, Trev. Gone and put it on video, even. But it means a lot that you did it for me. What the fuck are you talking about? Mm -hmm. I am not the girl you cheat on. Ow. I've gone through everything. We're definitely good on timeline. We're perfect. No, 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 please. Wow. She was such a sweet little girl, I thought. Pretty fractured. She's the devil. See, with you, the world just heard about what happened, but with us, we're gonna see it. And in a fame like you never even dreamed of. This time Randy gets the girl. What? I was so believable today, wasn't I? How could you do this? Do you know what it was like growing up in this family? I mean, all I ever heard was. Oh, here we Sydney. go. Shut right. up. Sydney, Sydney, Sydney. She's so fucking special. Well, now I'm the special one. You'll slip. They always do. Come on, Charlie. Let's get on with this. This one's dark, dude. It is. This one's a lot darker than the second and third one. Shoulder me. Shoulder me. Shoulder. Right in the sternum? Yeah. Let me guess. Oh, there's no room for two. But the media really loves baby. Is a soul survivor. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what he gets. I don't feel bad. Oh. This has never been about killing you. It's about becoming you. <laughs> See? Yeah. How do you think people become famous anymore? You just gotta have fucked up shit happen to you. Wow. New movie, new franchise. <laughs> oh, what? No way you die. Don't tell me you didn't know this day would come. By her? Nah, she ain't dead. Wow. Can you imagine that little girl being the one that off Sydney Prescott? They're going to know there was tape on that. They're going to, like, I don't even know why people think Do they you think get away he would shoot this. himself in his. They're going to read this crime scene like it's nothing. Uh. 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 Ow. I don't know, Dewey's reading the crime scene. He's <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> I know, dude, what the heck? Ow, 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 ow. I mean, you'll do what you gotta do to not she go to jail, I so guess, boy. Psycho, dude. To go down for all them murders. I, I guess know half of y'all dudes in the comments done dated one of these before. Sponsored by Red Bull. Where's that girl's parents whose house this is? <laughs> Oh, wow. That looked like the least painful thing she's done all night. She is Do not hold her hand. Dude, this franchise is ruined, dog. Like, let me know if you feel the same way, dude. I don't think Sydney's dead. I just don't think so. You don't think she's dead? I mean, you get stabbed in the stomach. Maybe you're dead. I don't know. But I don't know, man. She leaked. This is just like a dropping in here. Like, what? It's like a John Wick movie. Look at her. That's what she wants. She's smiling. Do you see that? Wow. And they bought it. Charlie, they tried to kill me. And I heard they killed my mom. And Robbie and Kirby, too. Shh. Just lay back. Try to rest. Is, is your wife? She's going to be fine. She's recovering. If I ever write a book one day, I'd, I'd want her to write it with me. It'd be a good team with our matching wounds and all. We're survivors now. I just wish Sydney was too. They're not sure yet. Still touch and go, but she's an ICU. Oh. Maybe Sydney just might make it. Yes. What? I don't, but I saw Trevor kill her. Yeah, you can't kill Sydney, boy. She's about to have to go try to finish the job. Oh my gosh, she wants to go see her. She may not remember anything. I have to help her with that. Wait, how does she know that Gail had a stab wound in her shoulder? Did she know that? Because she said that to Dewey. But see, Dewey's a doof, so he might not have caught that. But what if she didn't even see that? How would she oh, know that? Oh, look. Boy, the freaks come out at night, don't they? Mm-hmm. she going to be OK? She's a strong kid. She's going to have to be. She asked if you were OK. She thinks you guys should write a book together with your matching wounds. Oh. Um. Why, she was stabbed in the shoulder? How did she know I was, too? See? Shit. Bro, I just got chills. This is crazy. Won't die, will you? <laughs> oh my gosh. Who are you? Michael fucking Myers? Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> what the heck? She can't get away with this. They're gonna see that. Yeah. Dang, Sydney. Oh. Ow. Let's go, Sydney. Oh my god. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Boy, females these days are going crazy, ain't they? How are those stitches? Oh. Oh, it's over for you, little girl. Not if it's Dewey coming after G's. Yeah, but he's, well, I don't know, he might miss. She's about to hit him in the head with that. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid Dewey. Why did he, why is she whooping his butt like that? Don't they train you when you're a cop to like check your six and all that and like clear oh, closets? Oh my and god. Stuff? Why is there no one in the hospital hearing this? The ending of the movie was supposed to be at the house. I mean, this is just silly. Consider this an alternate ending. You're never gonna get out of this jail. Of course I will. Dewey! Oh gosh. What about the book? Looks like I'll just have to write it myself. God damn it! Oh. Don't even think about shooting. Or I'll blow Dewey's head off. What, you think I won't do it? Give me your gun! Just had to be the hero, huh? Give me your gun. What are you, deaf? Give me your gun! What? Please have a backup gun. Get up. Why didn't she just pick them both up? Keep your hands over your head. Don't do anything stupid. Bulletproof vest, she's a cop. Don't fucking tell me what to do. Now get up, bitch. Get up! She talks crazy. Now! Does she think she's gonna get away with this one? What is she gonna do now? There's this one I'm saying there's no way. And she's still just talking she's so crazy too. I'm gonna enjoy blowing your head off. Okay, but can I just have one final word? What? Please? Yes, let's go, Sydney. No. Clear. Clear? Clear. Let's go. The first rule of remakes, Jill. Don't fuck with the original. That's right. <laughs> yeah, don't mess with them. What hit me? You are no Cindy <laughs> Prescott. Go back to Nickelodeon, little girl. You okay? <gasps> Confirm your kills. Confirm your kills. We say it every movie. Guys. <laughs> Woo. Okay. Nice one. Mm -hmm. I was a little mean to her, but I mean, come on. She's still very pushy. I know. Save your chest. <laughs> <laughs> she passes out. I don't know about you, but I feel a whole lot better. We're live at Woodsboro Community Hospital, awaiting a first public statement from Jill. Her family even sucks. <laughs> yeah, the next time a long lost cousin comes up to you, just don't mess with them. A name the whole world will now know. She got her wish, right? Oh no. Jill Roberts of Woodsboro, a girl who's lifted all our spirits tonight, an American hero right out of the movies. Okay, guys, that was Scream 4. And what did you guys think about that twist? Because mm -hmm. that was nuts. I was not expecting that at all. I did not expect sweet little Emma Roberts to be in charge of all this. How nuts? Hey, what'd you think? Yo, so this movie was crazy, man. You guys are really passionate about this franchise. I definitely see why. So the first movie was iconic. Nothing's ever gonna pass it. You heard it from Sydney first. Do not mess with the original. The Scream franchise did mess with the original, man. And I felt like in the third movie, they might have lost their direction, even though I really liked it. But you know what? This movie is back. This might be one of the best horror movies I've ever seen, hands down. I love it. I'm not gonna say I liked it more than the original because you just gotta give respect to the originals But right. this one was phenomenal absolutely crazy So the boyfriend was throwing me for a loop because he is so weird and doesn't understand boundaries at all <laughs> right. Just a really weird guy, uh, dude If you're a dude out there and you got a daughter just teach her not to date that weirdo Um, no Billy Loomis is right. I mean every dude in this whole franchise is basically kind of weird right? Yeah, even Dewey's a little strange, but he's yeah. strange in a good way The two dudes in the cinema club those guys were weirding me out I thought for sure one of those guys if not both of them were gonna be the killers I you know I was sort of thinking there's no way it's going to be both because they're both so like scrawny and small and there's no way they could both probably commit murder and get away with it. Right. But yo, that twist in the end was crazy, man. I did sort of think if it was going to be one of the two, it might be the one with the long hair just because it sort of made it seem like the guy with the camera was the one who would be the killer. So I thought maybe they was tricking me. But at the end of the day, Sydney's a fighter, man. You just can't kill her even if you stab her right in the abdomen. So yeah, man, the twist in the end was crazy. When she woke up in the hospital bed, I sort of got the idea of what was about to happen and it just, it blew my mind, man. One of the best movies I've seen in a long time. What a twist. Right. Okay, guys. If I'm Sydney Prescott, I'm wearing military gear. I am going to, I'm never putting my back against anyone. Mm -mm. Um, I'm going to wear a gas mask and I'm going to have a bomb detection device outside my house. Like you're basically going to become like a giant fan of tactical gear. Yes. Like you're going to be that dude at the flea market who goes and looks at all the knife collections. I'm going to be on like, I'm going to be on dark websites like 
typing in like um <laughs> tanks ways to kill people well like, yes yeah. tanks Army i need great gear. i need those bombs that you put in your yard mm. where if someone walks into it they explode yeah i'm definitely gonna have a whole personality change if i'm sydney prescott so my prediction for the next movie man like i don't think that at this point i could even trust my grandma so if i'm sydney man i'm moving to montana i'm changing my identity i'm getting plastic surgery i'm just gonna live alone and who knows man I'll, i'm gonna rename myself i'm gonna rebrand myself and i'm just gonna live off the grid i might not even have technology <laughs> seriously so me either <laughs> this movie was wild man thank you guys for the support like always like subscribe hit us up on patreon if you guys want early access to all of our content yeah we're having so much fun reacting to these videos we couldn't do it without you guys scream 5 will be coming very soon it is about to be october guys so we're gonna try to knock out a couple scary movies i'd like to try to finish this franchise in october if not super early november so stay tuned we're gonna react to the rest of them we'll see y'all in the next one peace